Today's video it is going to be a wig review as you guys can tell by the title the wig that I am reviewing today is one that I was like on the search for um, like I was on websites could not find it um, I went to I think diva Tress, I went to Sam's Beauty and one more I think it was glamour Tress, one or the other I could not find the wig anywhere and now I finally found it on wigtypes.com thank you to them shout out to them because I wanted a specific color and I wanted this wig they had it in blonde I did not want blonde I wanted black so as you guys already saw from the thumbnail and then you saw from the title the wig that I will be reviewing today is this poppin looking wig it is by Zuri sis sister wig um, I got the shade the shade <laughs> I got the color 1b the style of the wig is B Y D M P dash lace H fab so the reason I really wanted this wig is because on the model it looks so beautiful um like it just has a very natural looking part I love this shape of the part it's uh it's a moon part so it has like a curve to it I have never tried any wig with a moon part type of curve or moon part um, moon moon curve part so I'm very excited to try it out um it also it can be done like right in the middle so you can wear it like kind of pinned up a little bit so I lo love the fact that I saw I had versatility um so that is what we are going to be reviewing today super excited to try it um from the from the packaging it looks really nice like I said guys I love this black packaging this is such a beautiful um, logo on here what I can see from the wig right now is that it does take heat um, 400 up to 400 degrees it's Remy fiber and it's a lace front wig and it has a natural top braided style full circle hand type moon part part lace front on there so I'm gonna go ahead and get her open and stop talking so this is what she looks like when she comes out of the packaging it is very full and bouncy oh my god I love the fact that they already have the the lace front at the top the part where you can do the parting and make it into a style it's already in a ponytail so I don't even have to comb through that and search and look to make it you know into a style um as you guys can see before I cut the lace off it does already have the baby hairs in the front so you can make this look as natural as you want it to y'all it's Liddy I'm gonna go ahead and cut the lace off right, so I did get the lace cut off of here in the front so as you can see there's like um, let me show you what the inside of it looks like. You see how you got your moon part going in one big circle. So you do have a lot that you could do at the top to make the wig look different. You don't have to just wear it in one style. I'm not going to play with the adjustable straps today. I'm just going to go ahead and get her put on. I'm actually glad I did not play with the adjustable straps because it's actually pretty snug on my head right now so I took that apart As you can see it looks like it's kind of sitting up like a high hump but what you can do is bring it over and wear it in a part So I brought the middle part down and you just took it out of the ponytail and then I just brought it over to my right side so it gives you like that nice full voluptuous like bang and it has so much body and fullness to it that it looks like I just went and curled my hair. This wig, golly, y'all where have I been? I've been sleep on this wig. like. I think I need another one just to be sure that you know that I always have a backup and I think that's what I'm going to do I'm going to order another one of these so that already tells you that I'm really feeling this wig um, I love that I didn't have to do any curling to it of course as you can see the parting isn't as visible so what I would do in this case is add some powder especially especially if I decide to wear it especially if I decide to wear it like pull back in the little ponytail or braid it back so she's litty. I'm zooming in so you guys can see exactly what I mean with the part. Um, I'm not going to pluck it quite yet because I don't really necessarily know if it needs it. The powder might do the job of just making it look wider without plucking it. And as you guys can see, I don't really like sweep it in. I pat it in because it builds up the intensity to make sure that you get as much powder as you need. And then it also keeps it from being so messy. 
you know I don't necessarily think it needs to be any wider than that now so you guys can see like of course now the um, part is definitely a lot more visible I think I would do with the bang is maybe just go over it a little bit with a, a flat iron or something or even just if you're about to wear it out wear like your scarf on your head for a little bit probably about 30 to 45 minutes maybe a little bit longer just to make sure that you can secure it down just so it isn't like sitting up on your head too big um after I combed it out of course it's definitely not sitting up on my head as high as it was so check this out trying to show you guys all of the details that this wig has so right here in the front you guys can see it I'm sure they're kind of like sticking out right there the baby hairs I'm not going to um gel them down I mean or you know use edge control on them right now because I'm not wearing this wig today uh, I'm just doing the review so you guys can see what it looks like what I'm about to do is flip it to the other side just in case you guys like wearing it on your your left side so you can see what it looks like on the left and as you can see, you still get that same, that same voluptuous, like just volume, big hair feel on the left side as well. So look at there. If you don't like wearing your wig on your um, right side like me, now you can wear it on the left. Look at how that looks. I decided it's a little bit bigger. I don't know why. <laughs> I might have put like a lot of hair over there, but. So that's where the parting is on that. I'm not gonna add any powder to it. Now, if I pull it back, I love how easy it is to, like I'm not struggling to find the part in this wig. Do you see how easy that was to just pull it back? They made that super simple to do. Now, um, I'm not going to braid it because I'm not a braider, you guys. Maybe one day I'll braid, wear it, braid it back. I'll post a picture on Instagram and you guys can see it braided back there. But I'm going to put it in a ponytail. But look at the different looks you can get from this wig. You can wear it like to the, you can wear it to the side. You can wear it, um, on, you can wear it on both sides. It is very, this is a very, very thick um, lace front right here. They put a lot of hair in this lace front for sure. But I'm not saying that like it's a bad thing because it isn't. So this is a very thick lace front. Um, lace front's right here in the middle with the moon part. I'm not saying that that's a bad thing though. The reason I say it's a really good thing that it's a thick lace front is because of how much hair you can get when you pull it back into your ponytail or when you decide to braid it. It's going to look more full. Or even when you want to wear it to your left or to your right, it gives you like that big like full bouncy full of body volume is like bang right there in the front so I think that it's perfect that it has so much hair because look at how I'm able to just like take it out of the ponytail and then just throw it to the side and keep going guys I love this unit this unit is perfect I cannot wait to actually wear it and style it like boom um I want to say that if you guys have not tried this wig go get it now I'm hoping that it's still online because I did order this wig probably like a month ago legit like the of July sorry I'm pretty sure it's probably still online because this has to be a popular wig this wig is just too nice to to not have it in stock you know so I'm gonna check all of that of course and I'm gonna put it online I'm gonna put it in the description box but y'all this wig is popping AF okay I am in love with this wig this is definitely my new current fave I cannot wait to wear it I have no cons about this wig at all it it, it hasn't shed it y'all saw how much I've been flipping flipping it figuring with it and doing so much with it and it's it's not doing anything there's no tangles it's easy to put up in a ponytail is easy i'm pretty sure it's probably even be easy to braid flat iron on it the parting is perfect you get so much with that you don't have to do a lot of maintenance to it y'all i can go on and on about this week if questions about it just leave the comment below and i will answer it hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did please make sure you go ahead and leave a comment and like below also subscribe to my channel if you are not already i do thank you guys so much for watching today's video and until next time, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.